This is strictly educational and entertainment purposes and how you can find other systems with this exploitable vulnerability in a sanctioned bug bounty program. I do not condone or support anyone doing anything illegal or they are otherwise not permitted to do so. Viva la Ukraine. There are dark times ahead, my friends. And that's why I picked up a fresh black hoodie from Walmart. But don't worry, people like Elon Musk, hackers, and volunteers through the Foreign Legion of Territorial Defense are all trying to do their part and support Ukraine. And since I'm banned from trolling John Cena, I might as well troll Putin. However, this video is an explanation about a write-up I posted explaining a reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability on websites that use Moodle, more specifically, over 2,000 Russian websites that use Moodle. But anyways, this is YouTube and we need to follow their terms of service and keep this strictly PG and educational. You can also see the full breakdown exploit and script over on Patreon though, if you're curious. Now, the vulnerability in Moodle came out last year and was recently written about in a bug bounty report over on HackerOne. And the vulnerability exists due to a lack of sanitization of user supplied data, which means an attacker can trick a victim to follow a specifically crafted link and execute arbitrary HTML in the user's browser in context of the vulnerable website. All that is is fancy security talk for reflected cross-site scripting, guys. Why couldn't they just say that? Now, Moodle is a free open source learning management system written in PHP, used in schools, universities, workplaces, and other educational sectors. So if you're hunting on a bug bounty platform in any of those areas, make sure to take a look at and see if they're running Moodle. Now, what we need to do to find and exploit this vulnerability is we need to go out to Shodan and ask them for all the devices that use Moodle, download that list, and then we need to parse that list to pull out the IP addresses. Now, once we have the IP addresses in a text file, we need to send that over to HackRev DNS to perform a mass reverse DNS lookup for us. Now, if we wanted, we could pretty it up by only listing unique lines by using unique-u. More than that, you're gonna have some duplicates in your list of IP addresses. But who cares, we're not trying to be pretty. We're not going to prom today. So after you have your Moodle domains in your text file, we can then send that text file over to a script that I have listed on Patreon that does a curl command and then lists all the vulnerable domains in green and all the not vulnerable domains in red. So if you come across a green domain, make sure to double check it by manually inputting it in the browser because there's always a possibility for false positives. If you're curious on how to do a country, I mean, how to do a Shodan search and then chain that to finding Moodle and then chain that to devices that are using Moodle and then chain that to a reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability. Head on over to Patreon and pick yourself up some extra content and hopefully you can find a great bug bounty payout. And until the next video, my friends, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you guys out there on the hunt. Thank <laughs> you.